1.3 million UK families get some sort of out-of-work benefits. Most have just one or two kids. But very few have as many as Marie Buchan, a single mum from Birmingham with seven girls and one boy. We have Tia, who's 12, <laughs> Leah, who is 11. We have Latoya, who is eight, Joshua, seven, Alicia, five, Michaela, three, Amelia, two, and Olivia, six months. Give me a hand. Marie's 32, her eight kids are all under 13, and all have the same dad. People know me by the amount of children and my tattoos. A lot of people spot that tattoo and wonder what it means, what is the reason for all the numbers, and I just let them know that obviously it's the date of birth of all my children. So you've got obviously the oldest down to the youngest. Tia, 23rd of the 8th, 01. Leah, 12th of the 11th, 02. Um, we struggle now. <laughs> Don't ask me the full names. <laughs> uh, we have Joshua, Tia, Latoya there. We've got one on my back, that one. I can't show you the rest. <laughs> But eight might not be enough. Marie wouldn't mind having yet another tattoo. I am addicted to pregnancy. I'm addicted to birth and feeding back. I'm addicted to that. She's a happy baby. That's why I could quite easily do it again. I could. Good girl. Put it up then. That's it. Good girl. And if Marie does have child number nine, it'll rely on benefits just like all the others. A lot of people I do think they do see me as just trash, really. Lazy, useless, just producing babies for money. Well then, over. Oh, my wheels are stuck. Not Some people it. say you should sterilise a mother if they've had four and they're not allowed to have any more. Well, but is it human rights that you can do that? Or is it, obviously, this is my choice. I've obviously carried all these babies up there now here. Which? Dad does pay a hundred quid a week towards the kids, but it's the taxpayer that doles out the lion's share. Almost £2,200 every month. Lovely. This is my life, this is how I live, so what else do you want me to do? No matter how many children I have, I know the system always is going to pay for it no matter what, because they make it so easy. But when it comes to finding a house big enough for your super-sized family, now that is a whole different ball game. Birmingham single mum Marie Buchan and her eight kids. They're crammed into a three-bed council semi, but they want the welfare state to provide somewhere bigger to live. Right, this is the toy room. <laughs> slash uh, everything else. <laughs> it's very rare they come in this room. They prefer to be in there watching the telly, so the telly takes over everything completely. Come on then, up you go. Good girl. Oh, this way, come on. Should we go in this one? Me and the three youngest. Two year old, three year old, and six month old. We sleep in this room. Uh, I usually sleep at the top with baby, and then uh, Amelia and Michaela down the bottom there. This is Leah's room, the second oldest Leah's room. She prefers her own space. She just can't take all the noise, which is a shame. So there's four in here. They're okay, you like it, don't you, Tia? It's okay. Josh, you're okay, aren't you? Yeah. They love it, they do, but they just don't know when to go to sleep. I'll be happy with a five bedroom house. I think I can split the kids up into, obviously it'd be two in each room, I think split them up, hopefully they can get into some kind of routine these here instead of being in my room all the time. Need a five bedroom house now. But until then, Marie and the kids will remain officially overcrowded, like more than a million other households in the UK. It's just that Marie's is a bit more overcrowded than most. The headline writers have also targeted Birmingham single mum Marie, and she and mate Sarah think they went well over the top. I'm just yeah. a mum, not a scrounger. It's all benefits. I can't live on £500 a week benefits, says mum of eight. He said, I oh, would we'll just do a nice one on your own because we, we'll send you the picture after. Do you remember? Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely it's disgusting. Of course it does, yeah. yeah. She was tricked. She was tricked into, into that, definitely. The kids, I feel sorry for. Honest to God. And they were upset when it went, went you know, originally. Yeah. Was, what, what, yeah. They were terribly upset.
There's lots of comments on the Birmingham, the male website. If you can't feed them, don't breed them. I think it was the one more about the kids. Half inhumane, half ape, let them all burn at the stake. Um, she looks like a dirty heroin addict. Oh, oh, that's yeah. another one. I have no issues with big family. Just get off your ass and pay for them. Benefits should be capped at four children. I have seven children and my husband works long hours to support us. It was just, it was crazy, weren't it? It was yeah. like I was a murderer or something. Yeah. It's benefits. It's terrible. Well, mum of eight, Marie Buckham, has also got something to sort out. She's back on her mission for a bigger benefits home. And today she has a message for the Housing Association can't live in that house anymore. They, we, we can barely move, we can barely breathe. We need, we need a bigger house, so please, just move us. Now, hopefully I'm classed as urgent, because I am, um, what, four over, really overcrowded. Once a year, tenants can ask for a new home to rent, but things don't look very hopeful. So it's a five-bedroom Yeah, I'm in a three-bedroom at the moment. And it's a transfer? Yeah. Um, we only have five um, five bedroom properties and they're all tenanted right, at the moment. Okay. That's the application form. You've got 28 days to return it to us. Thank you, bye. I'm going to say yes, we've got a five bedroom waiting for you. You don't need to fill out for I don't think it's going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be to gain a five bedroom property. Marie Buchan is also having a few problems. But for her, it's the headache of getting her eight kids up in time for the school run. We are a little bit late today because I can't motivate due to late sleep. It's now eight o'clock. My three-year-old should have been in nursery by now, breakfast club, but we're still snoozing in bed. With five in primary school and two in nursery, mornings can be chaotic. Josh, Lisha, Tia, come on. That's nice. I'll shut up. <laughs> Amelia. Michaela. Here they are, snoozy. See? Take over the whole of the bed. Amelia. We're going to have to wipe these up. We are running late. Oh. Come on, wakey wakey. Oh. Okay. What? Tired. Okay, no problem. Wakey wakey, do your bottle, yeah? On school days, friend Sarah is left holding the baby while Marie does three different school runs. She should have been in half an hour ago. Right, Michaela? Rise and shine. To get everybody where they need to be on time, the schedule needs to run like clockwork. Get up, Josh. Josh, stand up. No. <laughs> Josh, come on, we have to go. Get up. No. Up, Josh. Josh, we've got to go. Come on. God. Come on, Josh. Walk properly, please. Josh, walk properly. It's just getting them to sleep. They just don't want to sleep. I think I'll put it down to tiredness. Nothing wrong. It was perfectly fine last night till half twelve. <laughs> so it's definitely not a problem. Marie is taking the next step towards a bigger home. And she's drafted in her pal Sarah to help with a mountain of paperwork, just to get on the housing list. Please provide details of all the people who you want to live with you. Oh no, I need to fill out the kids. There's only what? One, two, three, four, five. Five spaces. Can you not put two in one space? I could do any small writing. Okay. Four, Sarah works part-time, but also gets benefits. What's Christian now? What's that? First name. Is it? Like Tia, Leah, Oh, Leah. I didn't know that. And she thinks the government clamp down on benefits should go even further. I go, we go to yeah. Newcastle Square, don't we, Marie? And there's people sitting there on the benches. Now, if they've got a, a, ability to lift a can of lager to the mouth, they've got ability to go to work. Mm. <laughs> and the government's making it too easy for them people. You know, if they got them cleaning, picking litter up off the street for their money, for their job seekers allowance, then a lot of them would get jobs because they wouldn't want to walk the streets. But she's also aware that a big family can be a benefit gold mine. There is people out there having children for money, um, uh, aren't there? Yeah. There is families out there. I know Marie isn't. Maybe not, but eight kids still means plenty of benefits. Myself, personally, I don't think I struggle on benefits. I get enough money for me and my children to feed, clothe, gas, electric, pay full rent, so there's more than enough there, more than enough.
put in Birmingham, mum of eight Marie has found ways to cope with the benefits cap. She goes the extra mile if there's a sniff of a bargain. Slightly the best bits. All that on there, 1578, and that one. There, yeah, who's got a fiver? Yeah, we'll take some. There you go, we are gone. Here he goes, here you go, we are. You're buying in bulk and it's cheaper, a lot cheaper than what they originally sell it for. Marie's 500 a week has to feed a lot of mouths. Gotta get some mutton. Mutton. Right then. Right then. I think we've got enough now, don't need no more. But at the end of the day, Marie at least isn't kicking up a stink. Come on. Yeah. Come on, let's go in. Come on, in. Yeah. Come on. You get that paid that amount of money. Obviously, I'll get paid that for my eight children and myself. So I know exactly where my money needs to go. It needs to go on food, gas, electric, rent is the big one. In bulk, I buy meat, washing powder, nappies. I think it's enough money. I don't see reason why people do complain, because if they do, obviously their money's going somewhere else and they're not spending their money how they should be spending it. Maybe they're spending it on expensive food, expensive, I don't know. Expensive things that obviously you can't fit your needs when you're on benefits. In Benefits Britain, there are 1.7 million households waiting for somewhere new to live. Get your breakfast. What do you want, Amelia? And Birmingham single mum Marie Buchan and her eight kids are taking the next step to move from their three-bedroom semi into something bigger. Bye. Today, the Housing Association have just carried out an inspection. They classed it as a pass, so now I'm on the, now on the transfer waiting list. It's still 12 to 18 months waiting list, so I will be here for a long time yet. So it's still just a bite and going, really, then. <laughs> All right, let's get your socks and your shoes. Come on, then. Oh, no, she's not. And when the move finally happens, Marie hopes it'll start a new chapter in her life. Five months' time. Would be nice to be in another property uh, for all the kids to be settled in a routine. Obviously, all kids out of my bed, baby and cut, how it should be. Um, and I think working, I could sit or even training. Just something, just to prove everybody wrong that obviously I'm able-bodied. I have got a brain in there somewhere. I want to put back into the system. Obviously, go to work, put my taxis in. Yeah, that's right. I want to be a mechanic. 